Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I want to come on and share my first Hobonichi. This one is a 4x6 approximately, and it's called a Techo. It is a 2018 planner slash whatever you want it to be. Um, this is the card, the information that came with it. And this is what it says. Okay, so let's dive in. I just want to show you what's in it because I've never seen exactly everything that's in it. So we're going to do a quick flip through. So the cover is a type of paper. I think it feels like a very thin chipboard type of paper. Um, the outside cover is a rough texture like a leather possibly but it is not but it feels re really nice and sturdy um i'm not sure what the binding underneath this is but i see some ridges so that leads me to think there may be some stitching involved not sure can't tell i don't know but anyway so let's go on and get to the inside you have your title page here Hobonichi Techo 2018 planner. Then we go into a year at a glance for 2018, a year at a glance for 2019. Then it starts with the monthly in the list style. So you have the year, the month number, the month name. Then it has, it's all in a grid, on a grid background. It has the date. And then the day of the week and all of this is grid. And the Sundays are highlighted in, it looks like an orangish color. And I think that's the same on the year at a glance spreads as well. And as you can see, I've already written in it to show when I received it. And I used this palette G2 1.0. So the pen that I used is has a pretty bold point, but I was still able to write in the grid spaces. So it just goes through all of the months. And then you have the start of 2019 and it takes you from January through March. After that, it moves to the month on two pages and still you have grid space in the background. Um, it, it shows the weeks of the year. This is, of course, December 2017, and then it goes on into each month separately. So, as I said, I've already started writing in it. So, you have all your months. The paper is very thin. Let's go back. But... From what I understand, it can tolerate things like um, fountain pens. So I know there is a little ghosting. There is some ghosting with the pen that I use with the Pilot pink pen. And this was a Pilot black pen. And it does have a little ghosting, but. Well, I'll, I'll see better. I'll know better as I use different things in this. How that will work. So it goes all the way through December 2018. Then you have January, February, and March of 2019. And this is just two grid pages. Turning the page to a new year. This is just coming up January. So I guess this is where you can put any information for your upcoming month so I'll see if this repeats then it looks like in this left column it has 12 and then a small fork and knife so I guess you can write about your meals here and if you need to break up your day by the time you can fill in your times of what you're going to do in the morning versus the afternoon if you're using this as a planner if you're using it as a journal I mean you could divide it up as what happened in the morning what happened in the afternoon things like that then you do have space up at the top there's the quote that was mentioned and 
we have a small month at a, at a glance and then it in the month at a glance it shows you what days you're on on that page so it's not just a repeated month through the whole month it actually shows you what days you're on I think that the there is some significance to these symbols here that I don't know I'll have to find out what that is and again the W01 week 1 so it gives you the week number on the dailies as well I think this is the phases of the moon yeah this is pretty neat because I really do like to know about the moon so yeah it is the phases of the moon and I think that that is what these um, the circles on the monthlies are as well so February 16th would be a full moon and I'm thinking the 2nd of January was a new moon 17th was the full moon maybe I don't know but that's what the dailies look like so let's move on out of the dailies yes and at the end of the month you do have this page well at the end of the previous month for the beginning of the new month you have a full page where you can take write notes or whatever you need to put down let's move on past the daily pages I did more writing in here than I thought. <laughs> I forgot I wrote on that one. Okay. So let's skip all the way to the back. Okay. So now we're at the end of December. We have several orange dot grid pages that you can use for whatever you choose. Then this is just one page of important contacts. Then you have the international size charts for women's blouses, men's shirts, women's shoes, men's shoes, hats, rings. And then you have a conversion table for length, area, weight, volume, slash capacity. You have a small little ruler that has centimeters and inches. Okay. Then you have the highlights of the calendar year in Japan which should be very fairly interesting reading the chronology of J Japanese history very nice Japanese folk tales international country codes and dialing codes is dialing spelled wrong does it have one L or two L's um, they have national holidays for different countries that's pretty nice that's really nice I like this and then personal notes name address phone number cell fax email publishing information my unique Hobonichi Chekcho number I don't know maybe I shouldn't show that on camera and then that's it so if you've ever went oh and then the sides have tabs as well and those tabs are for the month on your daily pages and then the orange ones will always show you where sunday is so i've tried to notice all of the features this is very new to me so i may have missed some things but i tried to point out the things that stood out to me but I think this is a nice little compact size for a journal and that's basically what I'll be using it for just to note things I have a very bad memory <laughs> so that's part of why I have so many planners and this will be more of a journal slash diary just to jot sometimes I have things on my mind and I just want to write them down there's nothing that I would discuss with anybody or nothing that I would really talk about maybe what I thought about a show that I was watching or a audiobook that I listened to because I listen to audiobooks a lot 
and I don't always want to do a full review so I plan to just kind of jot down things like that in here just my random thoughts so that is my new play toy if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye